And now let us pray. Gracious and generous God, we gather each week in wonder, marveling at your mysterious presence in the awesome beauty of the world and in the surprising encounters with you in our lives. We gather with grateful hearts, amazed by the abundance in your creation, abundance that we can share at our tables and in our communities, abundance in food, abundance in friendship, abundance in faithfulness. For we gather this day with hopeful hearts, seeking another taste of your love for us, hoping that others will share in the wonders of that love. Your love for us all is mysterious and miraculous, O God, with the power to transform times that overwhelm us and lives that hunger for hope. We gather, trusting that you will move once again in our worship and open before us the new possibilities which you create for all of your people, the bread of life, bread on our journeys, Jesus Christ. Gracious and generous God, we gather each week to be fed by your love, trusting that you will embrace each of us in our lives, but we confess that we are not nearly so generous with our love. We hold back what we have, fearful that we lack enough for our own purposes and our own desires. We take advantage of opportunities for ourselves, and we forget to see if someone else is in need. Forgive us, O God. Forgive us when our fear makes us stingy with your gift of abundant love. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, the letter to the Ephesians, it declares that Christ dwells in our hearts through faith, for we are rooted and grounded in his love. The forgiveness he offers is a gift of this love, a gift that is wider and deeper than we can ever imagine. Receive this gift of God's forgiveness with grateful hearts. Be at peace with God. Be at peace with yourselves and be at peace with one another. And for that we say thanks be to God. Amen. Our first reading this morning is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 16, verses 2 to 8. The whole congregation of the Israelites complained against Moses and Aaron in the wilderness. The Israelites said to them, If only we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by the flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. For you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Then the Lord said to Moses, I am going to rain bread from heaven for you, and each day the people shall go out and gather enough for that day. In that way I will test them, whether they will follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, when they prepare what they bring in, it will be twice as much as they gather on the other days. So Moses and Aaron said to all the Israelites, In the evening you shall know that it was the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt, and in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard you complaining against the Lord. For what are we that you complain against us? And Moses said, When the Lord gives you meat to eat in the evening, and your fill of bread in the morning, because the Lord has heard the complaining that you utter against him, what are we? Your complaining is not against us, but against the Lord. Amen. And our gospel reading this morning is taken from the gospel of St. John, chapter 6, verses 1 to 15. After this, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. When he looked up and saw a large crowd coming toward him, Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? He said this to test him, for he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Six months' wages would not be enough to buy bread for each of them to get a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish, what, but what are they among so many people? Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was a great deal of grass in the place, so they sat down, about five thousand in all. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to those who were seated. 
so also the fish as much as they wanted. When they were satisfied, he told his disciples, gather up the fragments left over so that nothing may be lost. So they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves left by those who had eaten, they filled 12 baskets. When the people saw the sign that he had done, they began to say, this is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Our children's hymn, number 348, Tell Me the Stories of Jesus. <laughs> 